Welcome to CA Rooks Wine Merchants. Um, tell us a little bit about these wonderful wines of, from La Umbra in Romania. So La Umbra range is produced by us uh, from our own vineyards that are located in three different regions of Romania. Uh, we, as a British company, Hellwood owns about 400 hectares of vineyards in three of the prettiest and the best locations of Romania. So some of the wines that you see on, on this table are coming either from like this uh, Pinot Grigio is coming from Transylvania on, uh, from our vineyards located there that date back to 13th century and they were, they were originally planted by Saxons arriving to guard the southern flank of Hungary. So continuously they're on those slopes that are ranging from 300 to 300, 600 meters above sea level we had vineyards and various different grape varieties. Well Pinot Grigio is not new to Romania, in fact is, is dating back 100 and 150, or 150 years when it was known as Rulender, it's, it's a name that the, that the Germans are still using for their Pinot Gris or Pinot Grigio. So then uh, Rulender was very fashionable in the Austro-Hungarian Empire uh, where, where Transylvania was, was part. Then we had renamed the wine, uh, the, the grape variety as Pinot Gris because uh, it was a very widely uh, planted in Alsace, but nowadays we call it Pinot Grigio because it's uh, become very popular yeah. through its Italian uh, provenance. Uh, we still feel that the Pinot Grigio that we produce is more likely to the, to the Alsace type. That means a very full wine that has actually a bit of flavor, because the reason why Pinot Grigio is so popular with people is because it doesn't particularly have a character. Well, ours, uh, if you care to try it, has got a lot of uh, flavor coming from the high altitude, cool climate of our Transylvanian vineyards. Now, if we move a little bit um, to the east of, of Romania, where we're producing this beautiful uh, Pinot Noir, and it's in, uh, produced in the Alumari region, which is some 60-90 kilometers north of Bucharest, and um, has been produced there for quite a number of years uh, as well. Um, as you certainly know, Pinot, Pinot Noir is one of the most difficult grape varieties that you can ever uh, encounter, but because we have uh, work with the grape variety for so long. It was introduced in Romania by the people of Champagne rather than Burgundy when they thought that uh, they can, after the Philoxera invasion of, of Romania, we, we turn to the French for help and they brought Pinot Noir, Chardonnay and other French grape varieties in, into the country. That was at the turn of the century. So with the experience that we accumulated, we create we create very good Pinot Noirs, and I'm very very happy to say that uh, this little La Umbra Pinot Noir uh, has won a silver medal uh, only recently okay. uh, at the Pinot Noir Masters, and uh, it came ahead of many many uh, other much more expensive uh, Pinot Noirs. It also um, won, a, won a silver medal at, uh, at uh, Decanter uh, this, this year, so it's all in recognition of the fact that we can create very delicate, uh, very fragrant Pinot Noirs. Mm -hmm. We took a difficult route into doing that because what we want to achieve with this wines is uh, actually softness. We, well, for the softness uh, you have to trade in uh, the color of the wine. So we keep it for very, very little time in contact with the skins. Therefore, the, con the color will be very light. But at the same time, it didn't have, uh, it didn't take any harsh tannin from the pips or, or from, the, from the skins of the. So it's a 
light, delicate and fra fragrant wine that can be enjoyed slightly chilled as well, but also with, with food, uh, as I said, slightly chilled on a, on a nice summer day, it's, it's going to work uh, perfectly. Um, from the same region, but uh, somehow much uh, more sturdier and, and uh, more fuller in, 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 in body and color is, is the Merlot that uh, shows very nice primary fruit uh, with plums and damsons on the palate. It's very very easy to drink however it's, it's uh, quite, a, quite a big wine uh, where we, we as I said wanted to show uh, the nice sweetness of of the fruit rather than add any oak and um, the winemaker intervention was kept to a, to a minimum. Uh, it's very very easy to drink uh, but possibly uh, with a bit of care because the alcohol content is, is quite high. This is coming again from one of the largest um, Romanian wine regions called Dalumare and um, its uh, uh, Hellwood has about 150 hectares uh, of different grape varieties mainly red because the region has a as a red wine location uh, vocation uh, in fact uh, the way how this region appeared in, in ancient times when it, it was when the when the newest chain of mountains appeared on earth the uh, alpino Cap capello himalayan range it lifted the bottom of an ancient sea that was on the territory of Romania at that time. So you have all the sediment that has been um, there for millions and millions of, of years lifted on top of, of the hill. So you can see the elements now bringing down all that limestone which is apparent on the top of the hill into the vineyard and creating finesse that, that uh, red uh, wine need. Now moving further east uh, towards the, the Black Sea uh, in a region that is one of the hottest in, in Romania, uh, in a region called Murfatlar, we have a vineyard consisting of about 70-80 hectares organically grown for the simple reason it was easier for us to do it like that because there was nothing planted on it for 20-30 years. Um, vineyard that is coming onto the banks of the Danube in gentle terraces with plenty of sunshine. We have about 300 days of sunshine per year in that region, just a bit like Manchester I would, I would think, uh, where we use um, late, late ripening grape varieties like Cabernet Sauvignon uh, Chardonnay, but we also have Sangiovese and, and Shiraz, uh, which is thriving on, uh, on in, in that vineyard. The Chardonnay again is uh, just simple primary fruit. We don't use any oak to to age it. Uh, all the wines in the, in the range are fresh, uh, sold. Uh, at their best on, on the current vintage, which is 2013 uh, for, for the moment. And they're all coming under this umbrella brand called La Umbra now. Let me explain you a little bit why we call it like that. I was mentioning the 300 days of sunshine that we have um, in, in that particular area, but also throughout Romania. Now you can imagine that the Romanians wouldn't drink their wine in in the sun, but they will sort of move in the shade. In the shade is what La Umbra means in, in Romanian. So we drink our wines in, in, in the shade. My grandmother used to come off her house and move her kitchen in the, in some somewhere in the garden, in the courtyard, and she was moving in April and coming back inside in, in September. And we were having our lunches underneath a big walnut tree in the shade. 
there's another reason why we call it like yeah, that yeah, yeah. is because through yeah. this range we are also All right, okay. sponsoring a bear sanctuary in, in Romania so those bears that had uh, in the past been um, kept in captivity or kept by restaurants or shabby circuses and zoos have now found a, a new lease of life uh, with the help of this sanctuary that uh, we sponsor and that has relocated them in about 78 hectares of oak forest. So they now live a new life in the shade. They have their own swimming pools and there are 75 of them. Of course, one of them is called Hellwood. So our Hellwood bear is sponsored by us, but also other bears in the sanctuary because two penny out of uh, the proceeds of on each bottle are going to sponsor this uh, bear sanctuary in Zernest near Brasov in, in Romania. Oh, fantastic, fantastic. And you've also got in the range there, and as time seems to have marched on, but you've got a, a Cabernet Sauvignon, um, and a Rosé, and a Shiraz. But, uh, I think... Of course, I didn't overlook, uh, <laughs> overlook those. Uh, the Rosé is, is a, it's a summery wine. It's produced mainly from, mainly from Cabernet Sauvignon grapes. Uh, also uh, produced in the... In the Black Sea Coast vineyard that we own at, at Murfatlar appellation of, of origin. It's quite zesty and, and, and fresh. Uh, it's, uh, it's, it can be drunk on its own, but it's also good accompanying uh, uh, wine for, for things like, like uh, uh, seafood, seafood and, seafood yeah, and, yeah. and, and even, even oysters and, and, and some other some other stuff. <laughs> The Shiraz is a, is a new introduction to Romania, uh, but it's adapted fantastically well there, where uh, the, the sugar accumulation is, is quite tremendous. It's, it's making very big and very concentrated wines with uh, peppery and, and, and spiced aromas. Uh, this particular one, again, because we, don't, didn't, we, we know that so many people are tired of, of big, heavy, over oaked uh, Shiraz is just pure Shiraz fruit and, and it's uh, excellent uh, with, with grilled or barbecued meat and uh, I, would, I would recommend to try it uh, this, this summer. Well, the, the last one, what we call the king of the grape or black grape varieties, the, the Cabernet Sauvignon, uh, again, there are very, very l l uh, few Cabernet Sauvignon on the market that wouldn't have a big infusion of oak. This one hasn't, or has just a little bit to keep its backbone um, and and its punch. Uh, it's quite a, a full-bodied wine that will lend itself very well in, in, in the company of, of stews or even cheese. And uh, uh, it's very... Uh, intense aromas of, of uh, blackberry will, we hope, uh, in, in, entice you. And uh... Dan, thank you very much. Thank you very much indeed. I know, I know there are more wines to come from your estate in, in, in Romania and I look forward to tasting them and uh, talking about them again and perhaps a return visit with another video clip. So thank, thank you, you very, very much. Thank you perhaps very your, your, your next recording will, will happen oh. in Romania <laughs> in the midst of, of our vineyard. That would be fantastic. That would be fantastic. Cheers. Cheers. Thanks, Dan. Thank you.